You are a professional photographer, videographer on the go, and you're looking at some basis for your tripod or monopod. And you have a couple of different options on there, and you might be finding and settling on a couple of these. So from Sunway Photo, we have the DYH68, we have the D, I'm sorry, and then we have the LB90R, and then we have this head, which is the DT02D. 50. So the question that you might have is what kind of like what's the prior major difference between these two? How do you use them differently and which one should you go to on this episode of this or this or that? Let's go. So when it comes to professional photography and videography equipment, it's really about having the right tool for the job. And depending on how you're going to use it, you're going to have a couple of different sets of tools that you can use. Now, for instance, it's almost like with the, all the different equipment that's out there, um, can you to, can you put in a screw or can you, you uh, can you screw in a screw with a drill or an impact driver? Yeah but you can also do that with a regular screwdriver itself. It's just about having the right tool for the job, even though both tools can accomplish the same result. So same thing kind of is going to come with these. So the uh, both of these will be able to hold up your camera equipment or anything else that's going to go along uh, with your gear. But we're going to do it a little bit differently and we're going to make some jobs easier than others. So the purpose with level bases such as the DYH-68, the LB-68 and the LB-90R is to provide a nice easy level base that's going to be number one quick to adjust and number two quick to level. So you just have this one uh, knob that you unlock and you can basically move it and find a nice level base. You can adjust the tension and it's going to be there in place. And then you do have a separate on the R models, you have a separate uh, landscape uh, panorama panning uh, base itself. So this is meant to support heavier gear. It's meant to just basically make it a nice smooth environment and you do get a little bit of adjustment, but most of your adjustment is going to be from one adjustment and then you can adjust it in either way that you want. And this is great if you want something fluid for video, things like that, running gun style on the go. And this is just gonna accomplish the exact same thing, but it's the baby brother to this. Other times, however, you really wanna be able to isolate the pan from the tilt and that's where this head is gonna come into place. So what you have is obviously you're still going to have the adjustments. This is going to screw into the bottom of a tripod or perhaps you want to screw it in into a level base. You can use that as well. There's definitely no right or wrong way of using it. Uh, and then on the top, you're going to put in your arc. Uh, you're going to put in whatever you need with your arc rail. It's just going to go right on top. It does come with the DP60G plate, which is going to have a stopper as well, preventing your equipment from coming down. But the main ways that you're going to adjust this head is you can see that you have this big adjustment here. And when you loosen it up, what this is going to allow you to do is just pan back and forth. I'm sorry, tilt up and down. And you can get really upright 90 degree angles on here as well, which is really, really nice. And then if you wanted to adjust or pan, you have the separate knob here and you would be able to adjust your pan individually. So they call this for a uh, monopod head and for monopods this would be great as well because you can just twist it this way and then you have one, so you'd have one hand on the monopod, one hand on this and you can adjust back and forth. So it's definitely um, a nice way of going about it as well. And, uh, but you're really, you're isolating your movements and adjustments and you do have the level on here. Um, so for running gun type stuff, this could be good. This can also be a good head if you just want to have something completely locked off. This is going to be a good way to go versus the level bases themselves. So hopefully that gives you the information that you need in order to decide between the DYH-68B, the LB90 or the LB90R, and the DT-02D50 head.